from Artist Resource and today I'm going to show you how to make some gorgeous paper mache mirrors. Really simple and easy to do. I'm going to show you first of all how to make this gorgeous splodge mirror and I call it a splodge because it looks like a big paint splodge. Okay, so what you will need is a Marabou Decolac Acryl Starter Set. In this set you get six acrylic gloss paints and a paintbrush. You'll need a really large sheet of cardboard, a ruler, a jar of water, some masking tape, some contact adhesive, a pen, a cutting knife, some scissors, a little jar of PVA, a bucket of PVA in water, that's three parts water to one part PVA. Newspaper, here I've got some strips of newspaper, some squares and some sheets. And finally you'll need your mirror, this one's 25 centimetres in diameter and another piece of cardboard that you're going to draw around so that's enough to fit around that. And that's everything you need. And now what we're going to do is trace around the mirror with the pen. So we'll just trace all around that. And then remove the mirror. And then what we want to do is estimate about an inch in, and you can measure this if you like, but I'm just going to estimate that. And then we're just going to join up these lines. And then we're going to cut this out with the cutting knife on the cutting mat. So if we just push this forward. And let's cut this out. So press down quite firmly and just turn the card around. Okay, so we'll just pop that out and put that to the side. And now we're going to cut around the outer circle with the scissors. You can use the cutting knife again if you like, but I'll just like to use scissors where I can. It's a little lot easier. Lovely, okay, so we're going to put this to one side for the minute and we're going to get our mirror and turn it onto the reverse and get our contact adhesive and just apply this all over the mirror because we're going to need to leave this for 15 minutes to dry, we'll go tacky. Um, so we'll just do that now and we can carry on with the rest. So we just apply this all over the back of the mirror. Right, so we put that to the side. Now we'll bring our large sheet of cardboard forward and get our mirror and put it in place in the centre of our cardboard. And now we're going to draw out our shape, the main shape of our mirror. And I'm just basically doing a really nice funky splodge shape. Um, you can get a design from the internet or from a magazine that you like, maybe a decorative magazine or um, a design magazine or a book and trace the design is totally up to you. This is kind of one that I've invented. So just do that nice around there. Okay, so now we want to cut this shape out. So, excellent, that is looking really great. Right, so now let's get our newspaper. And we're going to get some sheets of newspaper and basically roll them into a bit of a donut shape. So, we're scrunching them up and tucking the hands underneath and do the same again. Good. We're going to place these inside the little splodge areas. So we're going to put this one here, and then we're going to do that same thing again for the other four splodges. Right, so that one's going to go there. Okay, now we're going to get our masking tape and secure all these donut shapes to the, each of the little splodge areas. So we're all done now. 
And now what I'm going to do is bring my PVA and water solution in a little bit closer and we're going to get ready to paper mache. Now I've got one part PVA to three parts water but there's lots of different ways that you can do it but that's my preferred solution. And we're going to get our little squares of newspaper and we're going to literally dip them in and apply them to the mirror. And place it over our donuts. And we're just going to keep going like this all around the surface of the mirror, making sure that our donuts are becoming part of the whole construction. And then we're just going to keep going and cover the whole mirror, and then we're going to leave that to dry for about an hour, and then we're going to apply a PVA solution. And the reason that we're doing this is just to seal down all the edges that are sticking out. So you want to just press that round. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to leave this to dry for a good few hours overnight if you can. Okay, so we've left the paper mache to dry and we've applied the white decor lac as a primer and then left that to dry. And now we're ready to apply the other colours of the decor lac. Now I'm going to use the red first of all. And the great thing about this paint is that you've got a acrylic paint with a varnish all in one. So you get this gorgeous glossy effect. It's just absolutely beautiful. Okay, so that's done with the red decor lac. So now I'm going for the yellow decor lac. The great thing about the decor lac starter set is that you get six colours in which you can mix to make any colour combinations you like. Right, that's that one done. So now I'm going to get the green decor lac. So now we're finished with the green, we're going to get the blue decor lac to paint the last donut. So this is just one example of a colour combination, but you can mix the decor lac paints to get colours to suit your room. Right, so we're all done. Okay, so we've done all the four colours and now we're ready to apply the black decor lac. So we're going to do round the hoop in the centre of our mirror, first of all. And then we're going to do round each of our donut shapes. You can see the beautiful glossy effects of the Decolac paint are just perfect for this project. Right, gorgeous, that's that done. So now we're going to go around each of the donuts just to give them a nice outline. So now I'm just going to finish off doing this black outline all around the donuts and then our mirror will be finished. And there we go, we're all done. So there we go, doesn't that look fabulous? That's another great project using the Marabou Decolac Acrylic Start Set. This project was created using the Marabou Decolac Acryl Starter Set. In this set you get six acrylic gloss paints and a paintbrush. It's available to purchase from artistresource.co.uk for just 9 dollars